Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the BFA Games here, and welcome to uh, I think the sixth episode of this uh, Arsenal career mode. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Ho hope that you're happy that it's back. I know it's been a while. Recently, um, episode five came out, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. It was pretty good. It's a pretty good episode. And there's another thing I want to say is that big up Argentina for winning the World Cup. I knew that they would win the World Cup. I predicted it before the World Cup even started. So um, big up to them. So happy for Messi. He's my goat. And without further ado, let's get into this career mode. So these are the matches that we intend to play throughout this whole um, episode. And uh, we plan to finish the December. And then probably next episode, we'll probably be getting into the transfer window. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know what kind of players you want me to get. So we start this episode at top place, first place, 32 points, only one between one point above Man United, Liverpool and Chelsea. So it's been extremely tight between the top four teams. And if you look at bottom of the table, Brentford, Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth are struggling. So we go to this game against West Ham United. I'll be playing the highlights just to speed things up. We can't be playing full 90 minutes of every game. So I want my starting 11 and let's get it. So we have a counter-attacking situation against uh, Odegaard is on the ball. Make a run. I, uh, but that's not. I wanted him to make a better run than that. We lose it. We got another free kick to us in the 40th minute. Odegaard on it. Yeah, how about there? We'll take it there. Okay, let's play it short to Thomas Party. Tielemans with a shot. Blocked. Gabriel on it. Finding Thomas Party. Back to Gabriel. Party again. Finding Odegaard. Fushimi's in skills. With a shot. Oh my god, you gotta bury that. How are you hitting the how are you hitting the crossbar? Another crushing opportunity for us. It's not really a crossing opportunity, is it? We're not in the half. Alright, Thomas sprays it out wide to fight Saka. He's gonna cut inside, looks for Odegaard, Telemans. Party over the top. That's not the kind of pass I wanted to do. But we win it again. <sighs> Free kick situation to West Ham. Schmacker with it. He plays it short to Declan Rice. He plays it back to Schumacher. He tries to get past my man, but it's easy. Oh, we got they got a penalty. We gotta save this guys. Come on, come on, Ramsdale. Or come on me, because I'm controlling Ramsdale. Where's he gonna go? <sighs> Sent me the wrong way. And it's one nil to West Ham West Ham United. That's the thing about highlights, it's very difficult because you need to take your chances. If you don't, you'll get punished. And that's exactly what's happening here. You get barely any chances. So West Ham now have another counter attack that we have to defend. So Rice on the ball now. Tries to look for options, plays it back inside to Corne. But we intercept it very well. And that's it. You see? They didn't even get another chance to score. That's what they that's that's the annoying thing about um highlights. You gotta bury your chances early, otherwise you're screwed. For next game it doesn't matter whatever team you play against you could we could be playing against like norwich city the same thing will still happen but get, all right so um jenchenko basically is talking about me playing him in, in, in a different position and i said yuri tillemans is complaining about me not playing him every single week okay so um arsenal against manchester united the biggest game of the episode we're at home Sticking with our starting 11, Sinchenko had a very good game, so we'll stick with him in the midfield. Thomas on the ball now, finding Saka, back to Lamptey. Odegaard on the ball, finding options, plays out wide to Saka. Saka, what's he going to do? Ah, uh, oh, he done him. He whips it in, oh, but it's blocked. But it's intercepted by Odegaard. We have it now, Zinchenko looking for options, finding Odegaard in the... Good cross. 
Oh, good boy header. I didn't expect him to to score from there. I thought it would easily get intercepted. You don't really see um, Martinelli scoring headers. But oh, I see he's, he was up against, I think, Lissandro Martinez. He's not the tallest, so I can see why he won the header. But what a header, man. What a header. I didn't expect him to, to score that. Saka on the ball now. Plays it over to the top to find Jesus. It's intercepted. We win it again. Ball on party. Martinelli. Looking to cut inside, finding Jesus. But what is these finishes, man? What are these finishes? Like, Mandan could have scored that. It's like he just didn't want to score. Ronaldo on the ball now. Plays it out wide to find Anthony. Oh, Anthony, oh, he's trying to do me with his quick feet. Van der Beek on the ball. Looks for Fernandez. Into Ronaldo. Back to Casemiro. But it's intercepted by us. But we lose it again. Martinelli, uh, Martial to Ronaldo. Good save from Ramsdale. Okay, Tini on the ball. Find his Zinchenko. Thomas Party looking back top four options. Odegaard. Tariq goes into Saka. He's making an overlapping run. Back to Lamptey. Is he going to whip it in? Looking for Odegaard. He's in acres of space. He's getting into the box. Finding Martinelli. <laughs> what is going on? Another another own goal that's been conceded from my teammates. And I'll take it. Because um, if you watch the last My Player Karima episode, a similar goal was conceded like this. But it wasn't as bad as this. Martinelli, this was... Ball is going all over the place, but he, was going, he went to Martinelli, so it's not a known goal. All right, I'll, I'll take that. Van der Beek, Bruno back to he won the ball so convincingly. I see him making a run in behind. Gabriel on his left foot, but save easily from the defender. He hasn't really got a left foot, has he? Ah, uh, great interception, guys. We've been playing so well by far the better team. Oh, he plays it into Jesus. He lacks composure at times. He's very hit and miss. Like when he's on it, he's on it, but other times you will miss complete sitters. But obviously there's more to him than just goals, so I still rate him, to be fair. Van der Beek finding Casemiro. Back to Van der Beek. Plays over the top for Dallo. Dallo finding Anthony. Anthony, can he get past Tierney? Nope. Lampty now. Party plays it through to Jesus. Jesus on the ball now, looking for options, all the guards on it, back to Saka, Jesus now, out wide, back to Saka, Saka keeping the ball very well, plays over the top to Jesus, it's easy for the hit there, Fran has it now, they're playing out, good turn from Anthony, find a bit over the top, but it's an easy, easy ball to deal with, and we have it again. Zinchenko now on the ball. Tries to look for Martinelli, but it's intercepted. Ronaldo plays out wide to Anthony. Anthony in acres of space. Can we get back? Okay, we've slowed him down. That's exactly what we wanted. And it's a brilliant tackle from uh defender. But we lose it again. Oh, that's a good save from the from Mar from Ramsdale. They're playing the corner short. Ah, he's done him. He's done him. Ah, please it to Ronaldo. Oh, good save. I legit thought that was it. It was two one. But thanks to oh, thanks to Ramsdale, they could be two. Could be two at the moment. It kept us in the game. Gabriel Jesus. 
Odegaard now. Plays the lovely ball to Zimchenko. He's got past him. Is he going to score? Ah, so close. So close, man. If there's just more curl in that shot, it's in. Martial, they're playing Odegaard into Gabriel to Saka. Saka with a great turn, finding Jesus again. Jesus running at the defence. Step over. Lapti tries to cut it back inside. Up as well intercepted. But it went straight to Gabriel. Zinchenko has it now. He chesses it. Oh, what a finish. What a belter from the man. Zinchenko, man. I was contemplating playing him over uh, Tielemans because Tielemans was, was ranting about it. I thought nah I'll stick with Zinchenko and this is why look at this cushions it well and just bellows it top top bins nothing the goalkeeper could do that what a goal and we're absolutely dominating this match against Man United our face, one of our fiercest rivals who are competing you know what let's just simulate the rest I'm convinced we'll win 5-1 winners unbelievable let's see who else scored Yes, yeah, so and Martinelli, I think, scored again. And Jesus scored at, at the end. I think Martial scored for them as well. We're going to bump up the difficulty to ultimate. Just to make it more difficult. And we got and we play against Leeds United in this game. On uh, the highlights. So let's get the win. Come on, let's get do this. we got a corner to Leeds United. Only three minutes in. He whips it in. Okay, we have it now. Okay, so we got a free kick situation for us. Oh, the guard on it now. Ten minutes. You play it over the top, oh, but they win it easily. Yep, and that's it. That's the end of that opportunity. Solo run situation. Oh, come on, man. Come on, EA. Literally, what what can I do in this situation? He's going to score now. Look, look. He's going to... There's nothing I could have done. That's another thing I don't like about the highlights. They screw you over sometimes. They'll put you in a situation like that where literally the goal is going to be conceded before you can even do anything. Literally, he'd already made the run. I don't know why our, def our defensive line was so high. That was it. Look, another one. Another one. But this time, it's not too bad. We've got Tariq Lamptey. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Easily. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so we got crossing opportunity to us. That's not even a crossing opportunity. There's no one in the box. Jesus on the ball now. Finds it. Sinchenko. Heel to Martinelli, but the shot is intercepted. So we've got another counter-attacking situation for us. Zinchenko on it. Only 30 minutes in. We plays the ball over the top to find Saka. Saka's through. Please, Saka, finish this, please. What is that? What the fuck is that, man? All right, so we've got a solar run situation. Again, we need to bury this. Look, I see Saka in acres of space. Come on, get forward. How's the defender got there? Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Press the wrong button. How am I missing these easy chances? Another solo run to us. But you can see there's three defenders around him, so we'll, we'll keep it. Come on, make the run behind. Come on, Smith Rowe. Alright, we fake it. Takes the shot. Oh, he's through. That's a goal. Surely. That's it. One all. But one unconvincing, avancing finish. He literally smashed the ball at the keeper. And it just went straight into the net. I legit thought that was, that was it. Another solo run situation for us. Up against Lorente. Trying to fight for space. Tried to look for Xhaka who's getting running in behind. But he wasn't there. So we have a counter attacker situation in the 75th minute. Please win that. Smith on the ball. Finding Xhaka. 
that's not the pass I wanted to do that's a one-off situation again we're wasteful we're wasteful in this situation I think I might need to stop doing uh, highlights because it's very difficult to have a good game you need loads and loads of chances to score so we have the risk of losing uh, Reese Nelson I want to keep Reese Nelson he's still got he's still relatively young and uh, he will be a very good squad player for us so I think we'll we'll extend his contract let's just delegate the wall because he's not that important so yeah hopefully he should accept the contract that we give him and then you got Tamiyasu who's disappointed with his squad time uh, so we got another EPL game against Leeds United I'll just quick sim it because it's a I don't really care about the Carabao Cup that much. Hard oh, damn, we're out. Big up Leeds United. Alright, so this is the final game of the episode. We got our main starting 11 that we're going to play against uh, Chelsea at home. Put a bumped it up to ultimate. We go up against our former player, Bamiang. Let's hope he doesn't do any damage against us. Let's get into it. Tap party on the ball. Jesus now has it. Plays it over the top to find Martinelli. He's got past his man. What's he gonna do? He's gonna get past the the defense. Nope, he finds in uh, Zinchenko. Back to Jesus with a turn. Good finish. Did not expect him to shoot from there. But again, you could say that was questionable goalkeeping from uh, uh, Nicholas uh, uh, Mendy. But I'll take it. I'll take the finish. And how many goals is that for this guy? It's been quite a lot. Good play. Good turn. He's got help, bro. We gotta finish that. You gotta save that. I mean, come on, it wasn't that far away from you. But I love the way he turned uh Thiago Silva inside out. It's a one nil to the gunners. That's twelve goals in nineteen matches. For Jesus. So Chelsea start. Chill on the ball now. Looking for options. Has it Still has it. He plays it into on the Siri. On the Siri, he's got past the defense. Come on, we got to do better than this. Keepers. Oh, well done. Well done, Ramsdale. Another thing about Ramsdale, he's so good at coming out. Tini on the ball now. Finding Martinelli. Martinelli. Looking for options. Party has it. Plays it into Odegaard's feet. Looking for Jesus. He's still on goal. But it's a heavy touch. And Mendy has it. We're playing very well. We've been the better side so far. Zinchenko isn't now. Finding Tomiyasu. Party. Martinelli on the ball. Ah, oh, it's a dirty challenge from um, Jorginho. Jorginho. He's not really known for his tackles. More known for, you know, controlling the game. That's a dirty card challenge, man. That could even be a red. They got, they got away with that. Didn't get the ball at all, just got his feet. It's a free kick to us. From up over the top to find Gabriel. But it's dealt with easily. Ben White tries to win it, but we still have the ball. Plays into Zinchenko, finding Odegaard. Odegaard again. Finding Saka. Saka plays it back into Odegaard, tries to cross it first time, but it's blocked. Zinchenko has it. Another shot, but it's wide. Kante on the ball now, plays it out wide to Sterling, back to Kante. Sterling now to end the series. He's through on goal. Takes the shot, but it's a good save from Ramsdale. Bamiyang on the ball now. Finding Sterling. Sterling plays it into Kante. Back now to end the series, end the series. Plays it over the top to Sterling. Sterling ball roll got past him. He plays it into Bamiyang. Bamiyang holds the ball up really well. Tries to find it on a Siri, but it's well dealt with by the defence. And now we have it now. Plays into Thomas Party. Plays it to Odegaard. Odegaard plays it. Tries to play it behind. Ah, uh, ah, oh, it's one all. And guess who? Guess who scored? A Bamiyang is all written in the stars, and we need to make another substitution. 
Jesus has been quiet ever since he scored that goal, so I'm going to put on Nketiah, give him another chance. And um, let's bring on... You know what? Let's bring on Fabio. Yeah, let's bring on... Mm. Yeah, let's keep Smith for let's bring, let's keep Smith for on the pitch. Bamiang has it. Yeah, plays it into El Nasiri. Tries to put, trust the find of Bamiang, but again, he's been on it. All right, Smith for on the ball now. Tries to get past this man, but back to Smith for He's in space. Tries to look for Nketi up, but. Thiago Silva has it covered and it's a one all situation one all rightly so both teams deserve a point it's been a very cagey affair we were the much better team in the first half and then they were better than us in the second half but rightly so so I think the last game of this episode will be simulating nothing from the bottom of the league so I back us to, to beat them even as the away team and yep, we beat them 2-1. Jesus with the brace and Roman Lodi with the goal. Okay, so now that puts us in third place. Uh, four points behind Liverpool and uh, three points a uh, point behind Manchester United. It's not looking good. We keep dropping a lot of points. And as you can see, Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth are at the bottom. So this brings us to the end of the episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. We'll be very close to uh, the January transfer window. So again, like I said before, come up with suggestions on the players that you think I should get. I know I don't usually get comments, but if you can, comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.